What's up guys, it's Video Effects Bros, and today we have a new cool thing for you guys. This is called the actual tutorial to change eye color in Photoshop. So, let's get right to it. First, what you need to do is grab an eye photo from a person's eye, whatever eye you want. And this can be helpful for any other things like changing the color of a uh, hue and saturation and other things like items or watches or whatever in a picture. So let's go ahead and start by uh, selecting the quick selection tool and increasing the size or decreasing the size of the selection. I'm putting 26 right now because the eye, it, so it could select like more area that we want. So select this, let's go ahead and select this. And I have selected the eyes, let's fine tune this right here. And I have selected the eye. Now what I'm going to do is actually go ahead and make a new layer by shift command n and or you can hit right here in the new layer panel and let's go ahead and name it uh, color that's one option and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna go unpaint it so let's go ahead and paint it whatever color you want you maybe want to make it um, maybe a greenish or something that green let's paint it. I painted it already so now what we're gonna do is set it to dissolve to overlay and now our eye is painted. But what we're gonna do with this is before doing that, if you want to make uh, have a, a cool and smooth um, result, you want to go ahead and select the feather, right-click feather, and feather it to about three three pixels. So let's go ahead and paint it again. Yeah, let's go to the paint bucket tool, paint it, and select overlay on the blending mode. And as you can see, we have changed the eye color. If you want to go ahead and fine tune this, you can actually go ahead and go to the eraser, set it to, it's already set to brush, and increase the size, and delete edges. You can um, set the brightness, set the hardness to zero, and there we go. Having a much cooler result. So yeah, you actually do that. Let's go ahead and increase the size right here. Right, that's cool. I like the result. This is looking perfect. Now, if you if you raise that stuff, you can have a clean and smart and much smoother smoother look. So let's go ahead and do it again, but uh from the other way. Let's hide this layer right here and we have our normal eye again. I'll select it again. All the parts we want to select and let's go ahead and just do something interesting here. Let's go ahead and duplicate the layer so we have an eye, only our eye, just our eye. Let's erase the background here. Just our eye and a transparent layer and let's go ahead and set it to feather first. Set it to 5 pixels and then duplicate it. Now let's go ahead. We have the eye. Let's go ahead and Command U for hue and saturation. Command U for hue and saturation. And then let's go ahead and set to colorize. And then from there you can colorize your eye whatever color you want. If you want a red, increase the saturation a little bit. There. You can make a sharing gun. By the way, we're going to make a new tutorial on the sharing gun from Naruto. We have a fiery eye right here. Fiery eye. And we can have a, a blue, very blue eye, or whatever, or a normal blue eye, or a gray eye. Maybe that's green. Or maybe um, it increases saturation and more deeper, deeper um, red, or whatever. What you can do, whatever you guys want, and then go ahead and always remember to smooth that out with a actual eraser tool. So as you can see, it's getting it's being pretty cool right now. Yeah, it's a good tool. So now we have a cool red eye, and no one has a red eye, so that's cool. So uh, I'm just saying this tutorial was awesome. I hope you guys liked it, and it was useful for you guys. So thanks, thank you very much, and much help is appreciated. Please like the like down there, um, and subscribe for more free tutorials from Photoshop and After Effects. And yeah, so rock on. Bye, guys.